Algebra 2 worksheet 3.5, I'm looking at 15 and 16 on the back here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, uh, where we have to sketch a graph of the function. And in all four of these in this section, we're given absolute gra value graphs. So for number 15, for the vertex first, remember that this number in front is the a value. The number inside with h is, or with, inside with x is the h value, and then the number outside is the k value. The vertex comes from h and k. Remember, whatever's in f for the h value, whatever's inside here changes signs, becomes the opposite. So if remember, the original graphing form is a, whoops, a times x minus h plus k on the outside. Because of that original equation, that minus tells us to change the sign here. So that becomes positive 1 for the h value, and then the k outside is positive 5. That does not change. So our vertex is positive 1, positive 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's our vertex up there. Now remember the vertex is either the lowest point on that v or the highest point. Since the a value is negative, that means this is going to point downwards. And it works a little bit like, like slope. It's kind of like rise over run. 3 fifths means for the negative, we're going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and then over 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're going to go off the graph once. Same thing on the left, down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I could do another point, but they're going way out here, so that actually is enough to complete the graph. Through that point with an arrow, through that point with an arrow, and there's my graph for number 15. Now number 16, slightly different, a little bit easier. Same idea, h and k first for the vertex. Opposite of positive 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 does not change, so my, my vertex is in the left 2, down 2. There's where it's starting. That's a positive value in front, so it's going to go up. And again, the 2 tells me to go up 2 over 1, because again, treating it like slope, 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and then up 2 left 1, up 2 left 1. I think I went too high on that one. Yeah, there we go. So now, going through those points gives us our absolute value graph, and there's 15 and 16.